my name is Rosa Sipankoy. Um, I'm working as a vet with the Sabah Wildlife Department. Pygmy elephants are elephants which are found on the northern part of uh, Borneo, Borneo Island. These elephants are only found here in Borneo. You have the mainland, uh, you have the Asian elephants on the mainland, uh, like the peninsula up to Cambodia, uh, Vietnam, Thailand. Uh, we have the pygmy elephants, which are only found in Borneo. Borneo pygmy elephants are very small. They rarely goes up beyond 10 feet of height. They're very round, stout. Yeah, have very big feet and if one is very familiar with the Asian elephants they will say Asian elephants have longer trunk, shorter tail but the pygmy elephants have shorter trunk, longer tail. Elephants, they are big animals. They tend to eat a lot of um, browse. They will have a very wide range, yeah? So they actually prefer the uh, primary forest. Seldom go to in, um, secondary forest, but then since they move a lot, they have to go through degraded areas to go to the next forest. Pygmy elephants usually face um, a fragmentation of forests, which means forests at one side and then you have the degraded forest and then you have uh, forests on one side. They have to go through that uh, areas. They also venture into small uh, oil palm plantation owners, small holders, and this is where the threat comes in. When they go into the uh, plantations area, they will, they like all these small um, um, oil palm shoots. They like to eat that because of the uh, stem inside. So they will just take it out, take out the oil palm and then just eat them. For farmers, for plantation owners, they don't like this because this will cause them um, a lot of economic losses. When there's a conflict between the oil palm owners and the elephants, they would usually you know, try to chase them out. They will do anything to chase the elephants out and then the elephants will be dislocated from their own home range. Uh, areas which are full of people, when they go in, they will be threatened by, you know, uh, firearms, a lot of this um, smoke. They, they like to, you know, uh, burn the tires and then a lot of smoke. We have um, a lot of cases where we found some elephants are caught on snare trap. We have um, elephants which are, you know, having wounds, bullet wounds on their side. They will be threatened by those activities and then when they want to go back, return back to the forest, they have to face the same threat again. Each cases are different. For orphan ones, we would look at their um, ages. If they are juvenile, then of course, uh, no problem because they can follow the herd. But babies like um, Jo or Kajora, we have to take them in. Those are um, elephants below six months old. We have to bring them back into our uh, sanctuary and then we have to uh, feed them and then we have to take it, um, basically hand rear them back to adult sheep. For injured babies, we have to take them out from the herd. Um, treat them and then if possible we return them, we can. But if it's not possible, then we have to hand read them. But for juvenile or adult, we can always treat them at the place or we have a different sanctuary called the Bonnet Elephant Sanctuary. And then we treat them there and then uh, after the animals is okay, then we can send it back to the place where we found them. Um, talking about the future of pygmy elephants, I'm a very optimistic person. I know they have a very bright future because we are the custodian. We have, um, we, we know the main problem. We are trying to tackle all issues. We have also um, drafted a future long term for them. So for me, being optimistic, there is always a future for the pygmy elephants as long as we uh, take action now. We welcome any support, any funding. Conservation doesn't pay, it takes a lot of money, it needs a lot of funding and also, you know, like studies, research, we need to research more on the elephants.